I heard what sounded like the roar of a great multitude in heaven shouting, Hallelujah! Salvation and glory and power belong to our God, for true and just are His judgments. He has condemned the great prostitute who corrupted the earth by her adulteries. He has avenged on her the blood of His servants. And again they shouted, Hallelujah! The smoke from her goes up forever and ever. The 24 elders and the four living creatures fell down and worshipped God, who was seated on the throne, and they cried, Amen, Hallelujah! Then a voice came, well you reckon he's trying to get across there. Then a voice came from the throne saying, Praise our God, all you his servants, you who fear him, both small and great. Then I heard what sounded like a great multitude, like the roar of rushing waters, like loud peals of thunder, shouting, Hallelujah! For our Lord God Almighty reigns, let us rejoice and be glad and give him glory. For the wedding of the Lamb has come, his bride has made herself ready. Fine linen, bright and clean, was given to her to wear. Fine linen stands for the righteous acts of the saints. Skip down to verse 11. Me and my daddy were talking the other day. We were singing a song. We was talking about a white horse. Okay? And for this is for the folks that don't know what the white horse stands for. This is scripture. It's the reason I get excited. It says, I saw heaven standing open. And there before me was a white horse whose rider is called Faithful and True. With justice he judges and makes war. His eyes are like blazing fire, and on his head are many crowns. He has a name written on him that no one knows but himself. He is dressed in a robe, dipped in blood, and his name is the Word of God. Listen to this. The armies of heaven were following him riding on white horses. Woo! Praise God. That's me. And dressed in fine linen, white and clean. And out of his mouth comes a sharp sword with which to strike down the nations. He will rule them with an iron scepter. He treads the winepress of the fury of wrath of God Almighty. On his robe and on his thigh, he has this name written, King of King and Lord of Lords. Woo! 